Well, I back it with another YouTube video, and uh, in today's video, uh, we're doing uh, Disney Plus shows, and I guess we're doing Let's Talk About Disney Plus shows, or whatever. I don't know what I'm going to tell the video, but it's going to be something along those lines. Um, and yeah, pretty much I'm just going to be talking about all the shows to kind of expect this year, as well as their kind of release schedule, and then yeah and like how i think they're doing it and stuff so yeah uh let's let's get into it I, i'm gonna try and strictly talk about disney plus shows but i'm gonna probably mention the marvel movies as well maybe some star wars stuff too i'm not gonna it's mainly for marvel shows the mcu shows uh just want to make that clear uh but yeah uh so for this year uh we're supposed to be getting Six shows and I think maybe three movies. I think it was three movies. Um, I could be wrong, honestly. Um, but yeah, uh, we're kind of expected to see three movies, but I'm not talking about movies here now. So yeah, um, and we've gotten also some release dates for some shows as well that kind of fit into the timeline as well. Uh, because I actually recorded this video before, and they were they uh, like released the release date for Loki, and I was a little bit triggered and stuff. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to say this when I said three Marvel movies, I did not include the Sony Marvel movies. So I'm trying to make that clear. Like I did not count Venom two. I don't know if it's gonna coming up. Or Spider-Man 3 or Morbius or any of those. I'm talking about Black Widow, Shang-Chi, and also Internals. Uh, yeah. So, if you haven't realized already, I don't know when this video is going up, honestly. So, for all I know, the this mo this sorry this uh, this video could be coming out after WandaVision has finished. So, yeah, I... I Currently, right now, it's almost done. It's like two episodes left. Or actually, I'm watching the episode today, actually. Uh, but, yeah, there's one episode left uh, currently. So, yeah, that basically crosses that off the list. Uh, that premiered in January and is lasting till March the 5th. And then we know that uh, Falcon Winter Soldier, about a one week after... About one week after Falcon and Winter Soldier, I mean, WandaVision ends, it'll be Falcon and Winter Soldier, and we're expected to be seeing six one-hour episodes. They've said that before, and it's going to be premiering March 19th, 2021, uh, and it's going to be lasting till about April 23rd, 2021, so that's about six weeks. Um, as you can see there, we kind of gotten a week break pr pretty much um so yeah that's pretty good and i'll and i'll explain kind of their plan what i think their plan is because uh, i think i realized something really key in that and then yeah so we're finishing basically off with april 23rd 2021 now now i was expect people were speculating also marvel even said that Loki was actually supposed to be coming out in May, right? But again, they released the release date, actually. And it's now coming out June 11th. So that's like about a month and a little bit. A uh, month and a few weeks. Uh, gap space between the two shows of Falcon and Winter Soldier and Loki. But there's something you got to realize, too. Is... Is that um, I believe we're getting Black Widow or Shane Chi or something um, in May. So I think that's the reason why that is. Uh, they're trying to space it out. So we're getting Marvel content basically every month, honestly. We're getting something new every month, which is really good. Uh, hopefully they release it in theaters or whatever. I really hope they do. Uh, I mean, I honestly, I'm going to be in all honesty. I I think they should kind of not hold off, but yeah, hold off a little bit on Shang-Chi. But I think a lot of the like 
hype and whatever from the Black Widow movie. Like, people, some people don't even care anymore, honestly. And I honestly think what they should do is they should release Black Widow on Disney+. Plus. Do whatever you want. Put the $30 price tag and keep that on for like a month or whatever. However long they put the other movies on there for. And then make it free. I think that's that's the direction you go with that movie. I'm going to be all honesty. I, I don't think a lot of people even want to go to the theaters right now. Um, like personally, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't plan on going to see Black Widow if it comes out in May. Not, not planning at all to go there. Uh, so yeah, you guys might have to wait for a review on that. But yeah, that's besides the point. And also, if you haven't realized, Disney Plus tries to focus. Uh, I'm talking about Marvel shows in this video, but um, yeah, Disney Plus also released a date that we're also getting a Star Wars show called Bad Batch. If yeah, if if you don't watch Star Wars shows, uh, that's basically I think why. And really, it's going to be releasing in May on May the 4th. If you really care about that, whatever. Uh, but I expect that it'll be at last at least, I don't know. I, I'm assuming, I'm going to take a guess and say six plus weeks. I'm not too fully sure. Like, I think, I don't think it's going to be, that's the main reason why Loki and Falcon Winter Soldier and Loki have such a big gap in between. I think it's because of the Black Widow movie or whatever. So, yeah, um, uh, yeah, I, I just thought that was worth mentioning, uh, because that was just a role in Disney Plus's plans, not Disney Plus Marvel's plans. Two different separate things, remember that. Uh, yeah, so we get Loki, June 11th. Now, here's where it comes in. What if the TV show, uh, it, uh, might come out, um, it's saying summer 2021, but we're not too sh exactly sure. Like, I was guessing, I was honestly guessing, like, June, July, maybe. But I realized Loki is not, is pretty much coming out in June. And I don't think Disney Plus wants to put out two Marvel shows at the same time. I think they're purposely not doing that. Uh... Because, again, I'll I'll save the explanation of I th what I think their marketing strategy is in the ender. Once I finish talking about the schedule here. So, yeah, we have June 11th is when the Loki show is coming up. And then it's going to be running for six weeks. Uh, six episodes, I mean, with one hour long. And that takes us to basically July 16th. Uh, yeah, July 16th, pretty much. Uh, yeah, July 16th, which is good. Uh, that puts us in summer 2021, basically. Um, yeah, if I were to take a guess, I think they would have done, would do one of two things. I think they would release What If, like, a little bit after that. Or maybe even do, put out Shang-Chi, who knows. Uh, cause they could be trying to take movie breaks in between shows and stuff in their wider marketing strategy for Marvel Studios. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's say hypothetically, yeah, you know, let's, let's say if I hypothetically they release What If on August 6th, for example. I, they're not gonna, I have no clue if they're gonna really release it then, or even if What If is gonna be released this year. Like, it could get delayed, honestly, who knows. Uh, it could be till fall. Who knows? Maybe even Hawkeye could come up before that or something. So yeah, August, let's say it, hypothetically it comes out August 6th. We, I have no clue how long the episodes are going to be. or I think it's probably going to be like half an hour. But I have no clue how the episode count. It could be like six episodes. It could be like a full 20 episode season. Who knows? Because it's animated. Um, yeah, honestly, I, I'm not going to really say anything. On that topic. Other than that. Um, and then. Let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, it's Hawkeye. And also Miss Marvel. Now I'm not too sure exactly. When these shows are going to be coming out. It says. I believe it says fall 2021. Or something like that. But uh, yeah. It says fall 2021. Right. But. 
here's where it comes a little bit strange is exactly when which one is coming first like is miss marvel coming first or hawkeye coming first so yeah i'm convinced maybe that they could maybe take like a month i'm not too sure exactly when eternals is coming out uh but like it, they they could take hypothetically like a month or something to which like a break or whatever to release eternals between hawkeye and miss marvel which is i think it's all right or maybe they could uh put out those two shows then release eternals i i don't really think they would do that uh because you got to remember also technically spider-man 3 is a part of the mcu yeah you got to remember that so i don't know if disney would like to be really giving uh like giving like taking tom off because of that because they want people to watch Disney, Disney. Uh, sorry, Spider-Man Three because I believe they get some of the money from that or something. I, I'm not too sure, but I'm not too sure how the work, deal works there. But like, yeah, you don't want to really release two movies at the same time. Like, you don't want to release Eternals and Spider-Man Three at the same time in the same theaters. It would just be a complete. Uh, just it it would mess things up because. To be honest with you guys, most people are probably going to watch Spider-Man 3 instead rather than watch Eternals. And a lot of people just go to the movie theaters once and not go twice like that. Or they go once to watch like Spider-Man 3 on like, not opening day, but like opening week or weeks or whatever. And then maybe they go closer to the end for the Eternals and that's not really good. It's kind of hurting the business or whatever. So yeah. That's basically that. And then you'll notice after. Uh, so those shows could be coming up fall 2021. Or slash winter. Uh, and then we'll re- you'll realize we'll be seeing Moon Knight. And She-Hulk. It's also on here. Uh, in all honesty I'm probably expecting those shows to be coming out. Maybe uh, starting of 2021. Probably like between March and January around that time probably expecting maybe even february to be honest with you we could start to see like maybe moon knight or she hulk or something not too sure exactly release schedule wise which episodes are which ones coming out first like it could be she hulk it could be moon knight we know she hulk is going to be a bit longer it's going to be like wandavision whether it's like 30 minutes long or whatever and more than six episodes but I'm pretty sure Moon Knight's going to be six episodes, one hour long. Uh, and yeah, I think that's exactly what might happen. And uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, honestly, on ter- in terms of the schedule. Oh, shoot, I also forgot to act- factor in one thing with the Hawkeye Miss Marvel show. Is Book of Boba Fett also supposed to come out in December? So I am really curious to see exactly... How this goes with Disney Plus. Because. Now I'm going to talk about. I guess the marketing strategy. Uh, is. I've realized this. I'm pretty sure what they're trying to do. Is they're trying to get you to be. Stay subscribed to Disney Plus. Right. Because if you notice. A lot of people. Originally back when like. For example Mandalorian Season 1 started. Right. A lot of people own discs for like Marvel movies and. Star Wars movies and stuff. What typical people usually subscribe for this for. And maybe Disney movies as well. And other stuff right. A lot of people. Unsubscribe from. Streaming services when the show isn't on. Like. As soon as probably the Mandalorian. Aired. People unsubscribed. And they. Yeah they unsubscribed. And they were like. Yeah they basically. Yeah. And they then they come back when WandaVision comes on and or season two of Mandalorian comes on. And that's what people seem to be doing. Uh, so yeah, I found that very interesting because I think what they're trying to do here is if you realize we're getting show after show after show here and they're all different, so it's not like we're gonna get sick of it or anything. And we're getting yeah, we're getting show after show after show. And you also have to factor in people like for example, myself, I'm in Disney Plus because I like Marvel and Star Wars and 
I like other the other stuff like Pixar and whatever. That stuff's pretty cool, but I'm mostly in it for Star Wars and Marvel, right? And personally, I'm not one of those people who unsubscribe once the show's finished. I my subscription I've been subscribed to Disney Plus since like The Mandalorian season one came out. I've been subscribed to their streaming service, so. Yeah, uh, I found that was very key in their marketing, um, especially, I think they're purposely doing this too as well, um, I don't know if, I don't know what they're trying to do really because are they trying to keep Marvel fans there by releasing Marvel show after Marvel show, or are they trying to do Marvel, Marvel, and then putting in a Star Wars show, then Marvel, 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 or whatever, or then Star Wars, like, I, uh, it's kind of hard to understand, and I think it's good that it's kind of hard to understand because then people would under then people like would catch on and whatever. And yeah, um, another thing too is also when I was saying how people unsubscribe after watching the uh, the show they want to watch, right? Um, is a lot of people might get spoilers as well. You have to remember that because like the spoilers all over the internet. And like pretty much, if if you want to not get it spoiled, honestly, you got to stay off social media, and you don't want to watch any of the episodes. Stay off social media. You got to stay off for a couple months. That's kind of how bad it is, because people are all constantly posting about it. And yeah, that's there's a lot of stuff that, that factors in. But other than that, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, comment down below what you guys are most excited for. Or, Curious to see. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.